morning friends uh, today we'll look at an example where uh, we are using edited picture clauses that is uh, z dollar and star these are typically used uh, when you want to output uh, a numeric data item which is sort of in a display format or to be used in some kind of re reports where the readability of whatever you are going to display is quite uh, evident for the end user or the customer so let's look at it with an example here here I've declared a simple variable, uh, WS num, uh, with a picture clause 9 of 5 and the value 123. And this value, I'm moving it to three different uh, picture clauses, that is Z of 0, 5, dollar of 0, 5, and star of 0, 5. So without any uh, movement, I'm just displaying the number as it is. So when I display this number as it is, it will add two zeros because the pick clause is 9 of 0, 5. Now, after that, I'm moving the numeric variable to the edited picture clauses that is numz, numd and nums. After moving, I'm also displaying the values here. So now, the double zeros which are, you know, uh, the leading zeros are suppressed in this case. Here the leading zero is suppressed and a dollar is also inserted. Do uh, the currency symbol dollar is inserted. It also suppresses the leading zeros it inserts a dollar in the most significant part and star is used for check protection check protection uh, you know in order to prevent any fraudulent activity uh, we generally have stars in front of the check leaf wherever we are writing numbers so that uh, it is not tampered so here uh, the stars are zeros are replaced with stars so let's look at the output i've already compiled it so let's directly go to the output so if you see here Initially, without the zero suppression, the number displayed at, as it is, 9 of 0, 5 with the value 123 is 00, 0123 because it has it is occupying 5 bytes. So the numbers displayed after zero suppression, that is after I move WSNUM to NUMZ, NUMD and NUMS. So the leading zeros are suppressed here. You can see two blank, uh, this one, blank bytes. Here, one blank byte followed by a dollar and then 123. With the usage of star, the zeros are here, it is not suppressed, rather it is replaced here, replaced with stars. Okay. So you have to be very careful when you are moving it uh, to a, uh, you know, a data item which is of uh, lower, uh, you know, size. Now let's take an example where I am moving it to, let's say, I am just having a value of 12. And uh, here, let me make it as 5 itself. Now here instead of z of 0, 5, I will just write, uh, I'll have 123, but maybe 1, 2, 3, 4. I'll have it as 1, 2, 3, 4. Here I'll give uh, z of 4. Here there is no, there will not be any suppression. This one. So here in this case, there should not be any uh, suppression here. But in this case where I'm having a dollar edited picture clause, it overrides on the most significant byte, so you will not get the right uh, value that is displayed here i don't think it does anything with star and set but with dollar you'll have to be slightly careful when the size of the receiving field receiving data item has a lower size okay so let's just save it and compile it once again hope I have saved it here. So let's go to the run. Submit it. It's gone fine. Let's go to the sysout to see the display statements. So now I have changed the number from 123 to 1234. The initial number is 01234. If you see here it is not shifted because it is Z of 4. There is no blank line here. There is no zeros for it to be suppressed. The size is 4 and the value is also 4 bytes. If you see for the dollar, because it is, uh, you know, uh, the most significant byte is superimposed with a currency symbol, you are losing out on that value. So you will have to be careful with the dollar. Star again will not do any, uh, this one, this I have not aligned it properly. So otherwise, this if you look at my program, 
I have not aligned it properly. So that is why that it has shifted here. So that's not an issue. With the dollar, you'll have to be slightly careful. So hope you like the video. Do subscribe to my channel and like the videos to see more such videos. Thank you.